Hello everyone. My name is Christine Gordon. I'm the president of the American Association of Cosmetology Schools. It's really exciting to be able to have the opportunity to tell you about what's been happening in your association. Today we're coming to you from beautiful Las Vegas. And as you might already know, it's the site of our spring conference. And I'm thrilled to tell you that this is the largest spring management conference our association has ever had. It is so large, I know that Jim and all of his staff worked diligently to make certain that we had plenty of room for our exciting associate members, as well as all of the very exciting classrooms that we had going on here. As we go forward into our year here at the association, I want to remind you that our next event is going to be our financial aid conference, which is going to be held on May 15th and 16th. We all know that one of the reasons that we've had the biggest attendance ever of both associate members and school owner members is because we're still under the cloud of the gainful employment. The financial aid conference is going to continue to help us to understand how to protect our schools, how best to understand all of the government relations, um, integrity issues that are coming down to us in a very, very short period of time. And I'm certain that you will all agree that we're all going to be best served by learning as much information as we possibly can. As we continue to watch and to wait for the final regulation on gainful employment, we are very grateful for all of our member schools and our associate members for the outpouring of support during our recent call to action. You will be receiving, in addition to this video, an additional video, and that video will come from Tony Fragamini from the Government Relations Team. We are committed, your Board of Directors, as well as myself, as well as the staff, to increasing all of our efforts at communication during this very, very important time. In addition to Tony's video, you will be receiving, 10 days from now, notes from the Board. And that's going to give you a better idea of what's happening with your Board of Directors. We want to be able to communicate to you not only our strategic plan, but to share with you some of the initiatives that we're going to be working very hard on during this next year. And in fact, some of the plans that we've laid out to aid your association and the membership for the next two to five years. However, as we wait under the cloud of GE, there are many exciting things that are happening here within your association, and we hope that you're bringing many of those initiatives right into your school. So I want to give Linnell Lynch an opportunity to tell you about these exciting events. Linnell, brighten our spirits, bring us up. Thank you, Christine, and on behalf of the board and the Public Relations Task Force, as well as Beauty Changes Lives, it's an honor to share with you some of the exciting things that are going on. 80 schools now have some form of Beauty Changes Lives collateral in your school, helping us to share with our students our mega audacious goal of branding the careers in beauty and wellness as a premier career. In addition, most recently, Ted Gibson hosted some of your students to Fashion Week in New York, and that was covered by Modern Salon and many other beauty bloggers. This Saturday night, the IBS show was held, which is the professional New York show. Ted Gibson was also there at an event for Because, a new foundation, describing to the professional community how beauty changed his lives. We are in the process of formalizing our foundation where we will be raising funds to provide scholarships to schools, scholarships for students to attend your school and also pursue other charitable causes. March 14th we'll be in Chicago where again we will be actually producing our next Beauty Changes Lives event with stars such as Jan Arnold, The Doves and Ted Gibson again. We'll videotape that, and you can again use that to share with your students. So while momentum is building, please share with your students to go to the website to tell their story. I encourage you all to log on to the website and find out all of the various tools you can use to help your students realize the magnitude of this career, the potential that they have, and how beauty does change lives. So for our associate members, as well as our members, Look forward to the Public Relations Committee providing you with new toolkits for this year. Toolkits on how you can incorporate Beauty Changes Lives into your charitable initiatives as well as into your school. So thank you, Christine, for this opportunity to share with our members 
how your association continues to brand the careers of beauty and wellness as a premier career. Beauty does change lives.